Hey kids, it's me, Mr. Castiglione. We're here today with the amazing Mrs. Cabotaje. And she's here today to teach us a new game called the Doodle Game. Mrs. Cabotaje, why should we play this game? Well, Mr. Castiglione, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people think that creativity is just magical or that you're either born creative or you're not creative. But there are things that you can do to practice and become more creative. If you're just willing to have a growth mindset, to take chances and make mistakes, anybody can become more creative. There are lots of different parts of creativity that you can practice. You can practice coming up with unique ideas, you can practice taking risks with your ideas, and you can practice adding details to your ideas. Today, we're going to focus on being flexible with your ideas and being fluent with your ideas. Being flexible means that you can come up with lots of different kinds of ideas, kind of like rubber can bend and turn itself into different kinds of shapes. Fluency, I hear the word fluid in fluency and means coming up with many ideas. So with playing the doodle game, we're going to practice coming up with lots of kinds of ideas and coming up with many ideas. Let's get started with the doodle game. This is what you need to do. Take out your sketchbook. Create one squiggle or shape over and over again. It could be in the form of a grid, or you could just put it in random places on your paper. Just make sure that you leave space around the squiggle or shape so that you can turn it into something. Now you have many different squiggles on your page, so that means that your creativity will be fluent. It's your job next to try to be flexible in your thinking, and that means you can turn your page any direction each time you draw your picture. There's not a top, a bottom, and two sides. It can go any direction you turn it. Try that. <clears throat> Even if art isn't your favorite subject, you'll find that practicing your creativity can help you in all kinds of ways, like solving math problems, doing science investigations, writing, and even fixing a flat tire on your bike when you don't have the tools you need. Keeping an open mind and practicing can help anyone become more creative. This is a kind of brainstorming, so though there are no wrong answers, there are some guidelines. Don't repeat the same drawing that you've already drawn, unless you're adding lots of new details. Don't feel like it has to be perfect, just get your ideas down. You might want to think about creating a time limit so that you keep your ideas flowing. Often, your best ideas are not your first ideas, so just keep pushing forward and you may be surprised by what you end up producing.